Okay, so my wife and I have a problem. So this is a big source of stress for you. It's I've, a massive I've, source I've, of I stress. I ought to step up and just more. You ought to step up and just more. What do you think I bleeped out there? Depending on what I title this video, you may or may not have any idea. What is the video? Why can't I cook at home? Cooking, it's about cooking. And she means why can't we cook at home more because I definitely want to do it too. I ought to step up and just cook more. You ought to step up and just cook more. Why? What's the big deal with not cooking at home, Craig, LOL? Why cook at home? Well, several reasons. First of Wait, all- Wait, didn't you talk about this before, wheeze bags? LMFAO. It's rude to interrupt, but yes. I cook like maybe once or twice a week. You cook dinner never, and we get lots of takeout. I think it would be super helpful if you cooked two nights a week. And so I did and it was awesome. You were cooking like half of the time. Yeah. Problem solved. Video done. Nope. It was great for a while, but then we fell back into our old ways, probably because of travel, events throwing off our schedule, our dog ate it. Anyway, where was I? Ah, yes. Why cook at home? Several reasons. First of Wait, all- didn't you do meal planning before wheeze bags? Raffle. Mm. Yes, we also did meal planning even longer ago before. And it worked and you loved it. Loving it. I love meal planning. This you is, love meal planning? I love it. I love it so much. Problem solved? I stopped doing it. Go! Meal planning itself is also a ton of work. More work all at once. If I'm having trouble on the individual days to plan, shop for, prepare, what says I have multiple hours on the weekend to plan, shop for, prepare. I know I'm making it out to be more complicated than it is for a lot of people, but for me, there was just this huge barrier to continuing. And at the time I was doing it by myself. I don't want to have to own all of food. Or olive food. I really don't want to be responsible for olive food. You don't like olives. Ew. Why don't you cook more, Craig? SMH. Listen, for a while there, we were both cooking an equal amount. But yes, historically, China has cooked more than me. We will get to the lame excuses section later. But first of all, why cook more? Well, several reasons. A big part of it is health reasons. Go! Restaurants use more butter and oil and salt. They also use more portions. I even talked to a doctor to confirm this. Research. Dr. Aaron Carroll is the host of the YouTube show Healthcare Triage, professor of pediatrics and associate dean for research mentoring at Indiana University School of Medicine, author of a great book I actually read and enjoyed, The Bad Food Bible, regular contributor to the New York Times, and regular contributor to the Wheeze York channel on YouTube. He said, kind of what we said. Is it generally less healthy to go out to eat? The biggest problem that I feel like when I eat out is that I can't control certain things that I absolutely can't control at home. Often the way that restaurants can make stuff taste good is to slather it in butter and salt and fats. If you order a steak out at a restaurant, a good steak, it's gonna be bathed in butter. You would probably not do that at home. You know, salads are surprisingly bad at restaurants. All of that wrapped up, it adds up. There's the added complication of our kid. There's not a whole lot of stuff on the menu that she is willing to eat. And so she will end up eating like a so if we're going out to eat many nights during the week, that's a lot of hamburgers. If you're cooking at home, it's not necessarily going to be healthier. Ironically enough, when I cook at home, I actually will use a deep fryer. I probably eat more fried food that I make than I do out. So I don't know that eating out is necessarily what makes it unhealthy, but definitely you will absolutely positively have more control if you do cook at home. And as an egomaniac, I love control. A regular Janet Jackson. Okay, that's the health stuff. Reason two. It's definitely less expensive for us to eat at home. But is it generally less expensive for everyone? Again, for research, I had a chat with Joseph Stiglitz, former senior vice president and chief economist of the World Bank. No, just kidding. I just read a bunch of articles, but and one article said, on average, it's almost five times more expensive to order delivery from a restaurant than it is to cook a comparable meal at home. Of course, this also depends on what you eat when you eat out and what you cook when you cook in. But it seems pretty obvious you can save a lot of money when you cook at home. But devil's advocate time, it also takes time. And it depends on what you were going to do with that time anyway. Like what if you were going to fill that time with side hustling and making money? Time is money. I ain't making chicken tenders. I'm making legal tenders. The money you make while not cooking might be worth it to you is my point. Back in my restaurant 20s, I'll call them, living in Chicago, I often got lunch delivery and dinner delivery or I went out to restaurants while I was making videos every weekday. The reason I gestured up here is because there's a microphone up here and I guess I used that to represent video in my brain. I don't know. How I got my food was a complete afterthought and I I don't 
regret it because it allowed me more time to focus on these videos. And look where I am today! Wisconsin, I'm in Wisconsin and I'm very happy with my life. But also forget side hustles, it could just be your full-time job taking up all of your time and energy and that's understandable. The real problem is we make it sound like it's so easy. I think the biggest problem is time. People don't have huge amounts of time, but to do it well, to make stuff you and everyone else around you will enjoy is harder than you think. And like anytime you watch a cooking show, it looks like it takes five minutes, but they are never showing you the time it took to cut the onions and cut the vegetables and wash and clean and then clean up and put away is a serious effort. Trying to figure out how you fit that into your day is the biggest problem. So it's one thing to say, cooking at home's cheaper. I don't know why you'd say that like Yosemite Sam, but when you consider the time and energy required to make the money required to live versus the time and energy to grocery shop, cook, cook well enough for your whole family, that makes it not so simple and not just about math. We can find ways to eat cheaper, but the time, man, that makes it expensive in people's lives. But that's why China said, for us, remember, I put it in black and white because it, it's in the past. Because for our situation, we can afford to cook at home more than we are. Reason three, it might be less wasteful, but that's kind of debatable, so I'm not gonna really get into it. Reason four, I want to learn how to cook more, and the times that I do it, I actually enjoy it. I'm always trying to find reasons why people like things, and if so many people like this thing, maybe I can learn to like this thing. Also, it's like a form of creativity. If you get good enough at it, you can mess around with it and, and make your own things. In theory, sounds like fun to me. Mm -hmm. Great, those are all very compelling reasons to cook at home more, which is why it is, will be, and always was easy to cook at home more, or not. Why not? Well, here's the lame excuses section. I think my lack of knowledge of cooking is what keeps me from cooking a lot of the time. Great, Craig, wow, so self-aware. But why don't you have any knowledge? I just have had no interest in cooking my whole life. I would almost always go out or cook something really simple, usually not great, at home. How do I get this done quickly so that I can go play video games or write songs or do dumb videos? At any moment, I could decide to do this or that. I'm not much of a planner. But also, going out to eat is one of my favorite things to do. It is something that brings me a great deal of joy. It makes me feel like I'm a part of the world. I work at home and going out to eat is one way to just interact with our community. Because we're able to try things that we wouldn't think to cook at home. We wouldn't mm. actually be able to cook at home. Like we don't have the skill set or the tools. For many, many people, it's a comfort thing. You know, it's one of the few things where someone else can serve them. Feel like they're not working or doing. And for some people, food is comfort. Like I just want something that makes me happy. And what makes me happy is a hamburger. Even if we start cooking at home much more regularly, I think we will still choose to go out and have a meal out. So we just gotta try to limit it. Especially our kid loves to go out and eat. I and I love to go out to eat. Your other kid. Oh, my other kid also loves to go out to eat. Another reason, and something I've been preaching about a lot lately, we don't have a plan. Plans are really good, guys. Whenever I get the urge to cook, it's usually towards the evening when dinner's coming around. Like, oh, I have some time, I'm gonna cook. Oh, I, there's no meat thawing, we don't have all the ingredients. I needed to plan this better. No, I'm not gonna cook now. I mean, we did try meal planning, but it didn't really work out in the long run. Maybe we should do it again, but do it different this time. We probably should try meal planning again. Yeah! but do it different this time. At least know what we're gonna cook each day, but not necessarily like have to go to the grocery store at the beginning of the week and buy all of the stuff or like chop vegetables on the weekend. You can still do some of the prep on the, on day. the day. Yeah. And I also think that that makes it maybe less wasteful. We'll buy the exact portion every time for what we need. Yeah, easier said than done though. How do we get there? Are we gonna do a challenge at some point then? We probably should. Classic Craig. Oh, yeah. That's my way of getting better at stuff, doing a challenge for a little while. No shirt. Let's cook at home every, every night for a month and then see if we can keep it going. But we can't start now. We've got travel coming up. we got travel coming up. And now, of course, we'd like to acknowledge. I mean, there are people, I get it. There are lots of people that do this all the time. We are trying to figure it out. Everyone has their own unique problems. We want to get better. And I also realize like going out to eat too much is a It's a, it's a massive problem. privilege to be able to say, I don't feel like cooking today, be able to afford to eat out or get takeout instead. I also think there's some privilege to have the time to be able to put into cooking. Yeah, there can be, but there's yeah. lots of people that cook at home because they have no other choice right. and they don't have the time. I uh, mean, I, that's how uh, I grew up. Yeah, in some ways this is just a silly privileged problem. But it's something that we want to be better at. Mm. We're gonna try to get better at it. Yeah. Meh. 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 So when are we doing this challenge? A few months from now? Do this in September. So October. 
Be on the lookout for our video. We cooked every night for a month. Some of you are like, well, duh, I do that anyway. Well, then tune in and see if we're as good as you. It's gonna be great. I'm excited. I, I wanna cook now. Well, I'm gonna go get some eggs and beans. I cook that every morning. You're very good at cooking that. So do the same exact thing every day. I don't think I won't, we should do the same exact dinner every night. You probably could. I could. I definitely could not. <laughs> That's another problem is that like when we were meal planning, I got like 10 meals, but then by the end of the month, I was sick of all of them. Can't remember the last time I made any of those meals. Going day by day will help with that. Find out a recipe in the morning instead of like getting in your head, oh, we're gonna do this in five days. That makes it less fun. To me. Yeah. Okay. Oh gosh, I just got really bored by wow. what you're saying. Wow, this happens a lot. <sighs> okay, let's take the energy up a notch by talking about the explosive meal delivery service, Factor. Thank you, Factor, for sponsoring this video. I should mention Factor meals don't actually explode. Other than with flavor. Speaking of struggling to find time to have good food at home, other than spending all of your appendages on restaurant delivery, Factor offers delicious, nutritious, fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals delivered right to your doorstep, which you then provide to your microwave for two measly minutes, which you then provide to your mouth for however long it takes you to chew your food. I'm not gonna tell you how to eat, although you should probably make sure you chew. Maybe brush up on yourself, Heimlich. I mentioned earlier how I used to get lunch delivery all the time in the early days of Wheezy when I was trying to take over the YouTube-verse making videos every friggin' day. I wish Factor would have existed back then. I would have saved money, time, eaten healthier, equally delicious stuff, all while slaying it on the internet. But what if I'm slaying it away from home, Craig? WTF? Well, they got lunch to go. Effortless, wholesome meals like grain bowls and salad toppers that are ready to eat when you're on the go. No microwave required! I've also been working out a lot lately, which I don't shut up about, and they say that you need more protein when you do that. With Factor, they got Protein Plus meals with 30 grams of extra protein or more per serving. That's 29 or more grams more than one gram. Wow. You may have heard me talk about HelloFresh before and you were like, Conflict of interest much! I don't know why you yelled so much. Jeez, calm down. But it's not even a big deal. HelloFresh owns Factor. So with a wider array of meals to choose from, there's something for everybody. Well, by the way, when I was cooking like half the meals at home, like we mentioned earlier, one of the things that made that possible was HelloFresh. With that, even an idiot like me could cook. Anywho, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code Wheezy50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. That's factor 75 Dot com or click the link below and use code Wheezy50 to get 50% off your first factor box. All right, back to also me, but China as well. That's it. Thank you for watching my video. You gonna watch this video? Probably. Yeah? I'm in it. Thanks, thanks my wife for watching this video. You're welcome. Tip, 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 tip. That's mm -hmm. me responding mm -hmm. in the comments. Yeah. Subscribe if you want good things to happen to you. Unrelated to YouTube? Yeah, astrologers everywhere are saying subscribing to Wheezy Waiter makes your Luck. fingernails tougher. Great. Does calcium do that? There's something you can eat that makes your fingernails tougher. Maybe I would know if I cooked more. S subscribe to my channel and you, you will have more calcium subscribe. in your body. We should do one of those like 1990s email chain things. Send this video to 10 people or else your fingernails, fingernails will, will fall off. Will fall off. Send this video to ten people, or else your fingernails will fall off. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh no. Whoa, we got a wink. Oh shoot. Wait, I missed it. Ready, set, go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey, Dad, I might go get some lunch. Do you want anything? That's funny that you're doing that while I'm doing a video about cooking at home. Yeah, but we're about to go on a trip. Oh, we're going on a trip. Yeah. I don't want to buy groceries. We're not starting to get better yet. Oh yeah, no, 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 we have to start to get better later. Yeah.